Three, two, one, go. Am I recording? I think I might be recording. Okay, so I am on the Anacubic website, and I guess I have to download the software. Okay. Okay. We're going to download anyway. I know there's like Lychee and these other ones, but I'm just going to try this first. Please follow these steps to set up your Anacubic Photon Workshop. This will take a few moment, moments. Let's get started. Uh, add cloud printer and remote print. I guess I'll sign up. So I'll, I'll BRB. All right, so we're in Anacubic Photon M3 Premium. I think that's me. Okay, Ooh, interesting, interesting. How do I, oh God, it disappeared. Click icons to place transform model, including move scale, okay. Definitely want to hollow. Click icon to add automatic or manual support. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't know any of that. So most of this we're just going to leave. Oh my God. Anything I do on the computer just makes it super small. How do I move it? Open file. Let's see if I can find my... Baymax print test. Let's just call it, let's rename it Baymax Anycubic. Errors are detected in the import models, which may cause problems when printing. Do you want to repair the models now? Sure. sure. Model size exceeded the printer area was detected. Scale to the maximum printed er area? Sure. Okay, great. I don't see anything. And I can't see anything. Okay, let me stop. I don't know what's happening. Figured out how to, how to delete. I just had to go up here to edit and delete when I was on the model. But I want to also delete this preset model, which I can't see, but I don't want it to like still print. So I'm going to delete that one as well. I'm probably going to do the regular test model, the test thingies first, but I just want to ha I just want to put this on the memory card. Repair, hollow. So let's select this one. I think I want to hollow it. Wall thickness, two millimeters. Okay, I guess that's fine. Infill structure, none? I don't know. I guess we'll just do none. So I'll apply. Hopefully everything is still okay. Oh, here it's doing that thing again. Free cut text support. Support script medium, I guess that's fine. Anchor distance, 2.3, generate automatic supports. I'm just going to do automatic so I don't really understand it yet. I think that's the best thing to do. Let the software do what the software does. Oh, it's printing that way. No, I think I want... Wait, let's remove these supports. There, it always keeps doing that. Um... I want to rotate it, I think, so it's laying down. I think that's the best way to do it, so... Let's select this and let's rotate it. Rotate by face? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Let's just go back to the first one. <laughs> oh, I should have I should have laid it down before I brought it in. That's what I should have done. Can I get this back? Thank you. Rotate. Okay, so uh, X axis. Oh, that's not bad. So we want blue. I actually want the other way. Like that. Yes. Oh. Oh, I want green. There, there we go. So let's scale it a little bit. Uniform scaling. So it should scale uniformly, right? Yeah. Okay. I can only see the front. I don't know how to turn it to see the other. Oh wait, can I like... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> can I like rotate? No, it's gone. Okay, so I think that should be good. So let's do the supports again.
Okay, I feel like there must be some issue that I can't see because I can't see the other sides of it and it's gone. So I can see why they use other, other, um, I can see why people use different software because I don't understand what's happening right now. Oh, do I have to select it? Can I add the supports now? Oh, now I can. Duh, I only have one model. Generate automatic supports. Okay. I feel like these don't even like need that many supports. Oh, there it goes, it's gone. Come back. Come back. Let's see if I can, nope. Let's see if I can make you go up. Okay. All right, so I guess that should work. We'll just let it do its thing. So I don't think there's any more issues. I can't see it from the other sides because I just don't understand how. Oh, there we go. It is kind of big, but I think I like it that size. I want to go big. Top. Okay, so I think it looks good. I don't know what else I have to do. What's machine? Resin? Maybe I should add new resin? All right, let's see what resin I have. Well, this is a big container, so I have 3D printing UV sensitive resin. Oh my God, leave me alone. All right, add new resin, default resin normal. I wish it would just have like the name of the resin. I think, oh, that's fine. All right, so let's slice this. I mean, what does slice mean? Let's slice it and see what happens. I think maybe it'll make the scene file. Okay, I guess that's fine. Save slice file. Save to disk. Save. All right, should be nice and hollow. That's good. But why does the price say $38? I'm a little confused. But that's giving me a little... Why does it say $38? Okay, so I think that's all we can do here.